Now this video is intended to just show you some, I've been experimenting around with an air aspirated uh, or a Venturi propane torch. And just to show you, you know, a way to make um, a cheap, quick uh, propane burner or torch or uh, what have you. And, you know, uh, if you're looking at this video to come up with an exact plan of how to build something, this isn't it. I'm just going to show you a bunch of different things I tried and, and you'll, I'll show you how uh, the burn uh, changed as I changed up uh, parts and things on this. Alright, so I've been wanting to make some uh, propane burners and probably for 20, 30, 40 years I've been interested in making some propane burners for a forge or something like that. And so, you know, they all use, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of plants you can find out there where you can easily make them um, out of uh, plumbing fittings. But, you know, when you get all the plumbing fittings together, you're looking at $40 each or something like that. And so I thought, um, could I make them from just easily available parts that are cheap? Now, before anybody says anything, um, if you're going to do this, you are going to have to have some equipment to do it. Um, but really not a whole lot. This is a piece of one inch black pipe. This is a piece of three-quarter inch black pipe. This is a piece of half inch conduit. And now to make this nipple in here, this is just a MIG welder tip. I currently have a 0.23 uh, millimeter tip in there. Now I made this adapter just out of a piece of copper pipe and a piece of brass and I tapped it out. It's quarter inch 28 um, is, the right, is the correct size for this to thread into. And I just soldered a piece of brass on the end and then drilled it out and tapped it uh, to quarter 28. Then in the end of this, and it was on my metal lathe, but I turned down this piece of aluminum and shoved it up in here. I guess you could put a piece of aluminum on a, um, a drill press and file it down to fit in here or put a piece of wood in here. Probably this doesn't get hot. So, you know, I don't, whatever you can do to plug this up, this was the easiest for me. And then I just drilled out a hole that fits this. And so you slide that on. Now these are 3 16 holes. There's four of them and there's six rows of them and they're spread out about a half inch apart. So that is the gas comes in through the hose, just comes off of a uh, like a uh, barbecue propane tank. And uh, so it comes in here, mixes with air and comes out the end here. Now if you just let this out, this will just give you a big flame. So what I was trying to experiment with was to see how long do these pipes have to be? Um, what does this distance have to be? A lot of them have a big flare here at the end. Does that, do we really need that? And just, you know, a lot of different aspects. And so I've been playing around with it. And let's kind of look at uh, some of the stuff that I've uh, found. All right, so let's put that in there. This here, let me turn the gas on. Okay, so this was to see how does, okay, first of all, does this make any difference? It does if you get way up in there, but pretty much it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. This going in and out. Make sure you can see that. Yeah. Okay, now, this, this three-quarter inch pipe does make a difference. If I pull it too far in, or if I pull it, hang on. We had a different burner there for a second. That's part of this. This is a little tricky. If I have this too far in, like if I do it, if I just put this up in there, you don't get a stable flame. So as you advance it, you'll notice it pops up in there and you do get a stable flame. Let me show you. Let you look at this end a little bit while I advance this. So that was me covering up the air jets a little bit. So you get a better mix. About there. If you get too far out, you lose it. So there's kind of an area in there. Ah. Wasn't having this problem earlier. But now that I'm trying to talk into it, I'm burning the hair off my arms. Okay, so. 
it starts getting unstable right about there. It seemed like about, yeah, around an inch up in there was working really good. So we're getting a pretty good flame, and that's just, you know, a three quarter inch pipe slid inside of a one inch pipe. Now back here, get a little little bit of change mostly you were seeing that change because I was starting to cover the holes up let's see what happens when I, if I pull it out far it could be I could use a little more air inlet because when I pull back and get a gap back here you get a little more sounds like a little bit better flame all right, so let's stick a piece of wire in front of it. See if we get it heated pretty quick. It's glowing orange. I don't know that it's getting any uh, brighter. So it could be that's kind of like the limit. So once I got this stable and I got this running pretty good, then I got to looking at my propane torch and you see how it burns it's got that um, pattern in there and that's because it's got a little disc about right here that's got holes in it and see this is just air aspirated uh, just pretty much like this so I thought well what if I put a little disc in there with some holes in it so let me show you what that did this is just some galvanized steel uh, I don't know what gauge it is actually it's relatively thin um, gonna poke a hole to give me a reference or punch a mark to give me a reference and this is set to half inch so this this will give me a one inch circle take some, a punch okay so that hole that I put in the center let's see what size that is. that's a quarter inch hole and now I'm just going to go around. All right, so that's what I'm left with. Be careful because this stuff will, will definitely uh, cut you. Now I can still see my little scribed line right there. So I'm going to go around and give it a bend. that mark and I left these pieces hanging off the ends uh, to help kind of hold it in the pipe so it doesn't blow out okay so now we've got our little insert in there let's try it and see how it does Alright, we're not getting any burning down in there. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all just out around the edge. So I'm going to try pushing it out a little bit and see what that does. I'm just going to use this to kind of advance it. Alright, that didn't change anything. I'm going to try a little more. So now I've switched it out to the 0.23 orifice back here. 
Let's see if that makes any difference. Yeah, it seems to like that better. You can see the pattern. Pretty good pattern. I'll try pushing it back up in there a little bit and see what that does. Try that. All right, let's try a little more. All right, now we're back in there about, oh, five eighths to three quarters of an inch. And that actually is burning way back in, up in there. Huh, okay. So let's push it quite a bit farther up in there. So now we're probably an inch, inch and a quarter, maybe. And that's working pretty good. I don't know though that it's working any better. I don't know that it's working any better than it was without that in there at all. And then I got to thinking, well, what if I put a bunch of holes in it, but kind of like a, a rosebud tip, and here's what that looked like. Okay, so this is with our makeshift rosebud tip in there. And I kind of like the flame, how it's uh, well controlled there. Get back out a little bit more. Okay, so now we're probably three quarters of an inch up in there. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now, okay, that's what it's like with the pipe, the three quarter advanced all the way. Let's start pulling it back. I can't actually see that, so let's see. Let's do this. Now if I form that gap, that's another about a three-quarter gap there. And now I'm getting a really nice rosebud pattern there. So that would be a great way to uh, make a rosebud. And from this end, when I was doing that, this is what it looked like. This doesn't seem to matter how far in and out it is, but what's important is that gap right there of about a quarter of an inch. All right, so now we're gonna do, the rosebud tip's still in there, and I've put in a 0.35 millimeter tip. Let's see what that does. Okay, the first thing, it looks like we're not getting, it's not burning from the back.
And you can see we've got a, we're not getting enough air to our flame now. Let's try, let me try knocking it out. I like that a little better. But it looks like we're about to, let's see. Looks like we're about to lose our flame. to no insert. You see we get as I pull this back we get unstable again. You go too far forward and you lose it all again. Oops. I fell out the back. Okay. Let's see how this heats. We've got a larger cone here. Alright, so we're getting up to an orange heat there. It's harder, you know, it's hotter standing closer to this one, but I mean, it doesn't seem to be heating the metal just a whole lot better. I do think it's putting out more heat altogether, which would make sense because you're burning more propane. All right, I don't think we're getting any hotter there. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Um, I, I wanted to film it as I did it so that you know I could see what the different changes made uh, because I do plan to put together some burners here um, sometime soon. Who knows <laughs> when that when that will be? But um, hope you got some ideas from this uh, that may help you with something you're doing, or maybe it'll encourage you to play around with it. You know, this is propane, and be careful. You know, you saw I had some flames flying around and stuff like that, and burned a little hair off my arms and some things like that. You know, but when you're playing with stuff like this, uh, some of those are going to happen. But I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. So be careful, and as always, thank you for watching.